Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome back to taking a look at another beautiful work of art from the Steam Workshop. Now, this is the Zanbur, and it's created by Shark UK, and there's something about alien ships that just really get my blood pumping. I just think the design and the organic sort of nature of the design itself, in my opinion, alien sort of ships, you could say aliens, kind of could be super high-tech equipment, super organic. It, it could be whatever sort of alien you want, but in my imagination, an alien ship is something like you'd see from the alien movies, where it is very organic in matter. Things are created around materials, such as thrusters that are like a man-made device, and the, this sort of growth has formed around them and takes control of them. I, I don't know, you can have your own sort of idea of what aliens are but you can see this growth here up at the front now in this case it doesn't serve any real purpose but just look at that little bit of purple backlighting as it goes into these front thrusters area not really protecting it but just giving it that alien effect and this is kind of like a mothership a ship that can't really go too far out of a planet but used to invade either standard sort of Earth-like planets or even an alien one like this. So you can see we've got a lot of thrusters and a lot of in-atmospheric thrusters itself, so it can just hover and deploy wave after wave of aliens. Anyway, let's continue looking around, like I said. So it's got this very exposed nature to it. <coughs> and when I mean exposed, I mean most of these thrusters could be taken out from below. You can see we've got only one or two defenses, so I'm guessing this is really relying heavily on the hordes of ships that it can store with it in its belly. So first off, we've got the little landing bay up on the top, so you can see that the drones are going to come somewhere out of this hangar, form up, refuel and repair on each one of these individual pads. As we actually loop into this area, we get this beautiful sort of window-based top effect, as you can see as I zoom out a little bit further. This kind of contrasts as well with the thruster design on both sides, but just look at the thrusters, how cool they are sort of created. We've got this central spiral, and then we've got these pods that go around the side, and just look how smooth and elegant that alien sort of shape is formed around it, as well as these thrusters as well. The shape just feels so naturally formed around these thrusters, not forced like you see on some other ship designs. And you can see going with that non-force nature, we've got a mixture of really smooth lines and these really square, well not square, but rectangular type thrusters that are installed in different areas as well to give you that extra bit of thrust it needs outside in space. So working our way back around this oval area that I think is absolutely stunning to the engine pack on the back. So this is going to control it when it's outside the atmosphere itself. So there's quite a few thrusters here, so it'll give it enough boost and control to move around in them areas. But you can see how it's really just designed to hover and hold the great mass of it itself. Now coming more with this alien sort of design, we have this ball that is just really cool, really fascinating. And if we actually do a quick speaking, like peek inside here. I'm not, I don't really, shouldn't really do this because it spoils a little bit. You can see we've got these inner rooms and these cryo chambers where you can imagine the aliens are actually incubating and then something maybe inside this dome is actually spawning them, but it's actually just a protective sort of layer for the reactors. But I don't, I don't know, like like you guys say, sometimes I spoil ships with my imagination, but that's what the whole of Space Engineers is about. So as we come to the back, we actually have this large glass sort of observation area. It could be the bridge, it could also be just an observation area. I just believe it's like an observation area. That's what I'm, I'm feeling. That's the vibe I get from it, personally. And as we come down into the center, this is where we actually get the bridge. Just look at this sort of view we get. We get stairs that rise up into this area. We get a little bit of protection. But of course, it's an alien craft. And alien ships always seem to be quite weak to a lot of gunfire. And eventually it will be taken down. You can see, imagine all this glass is smashing instantly on any sort of battle. We'll come back outside and I'll give you a view from underneath as well. You see how these legs stick out so when it docks. And what's really cool about this, it actually should come equipped with rovers. I believe since I've printed this in in a blueprint, it doesn't actually have any rovers in the belly itself. But we've got this massive sort of dock area here. So hundreds, maybe in thousands of alien smaller crafts, I don't know, rovers or sorts of drones or whatnot, could roll off down there as well as from the upper hangars. So as you can see, I keep ducking inside because there's a lot to the interior itself. So we'll go in through the vehicle bay at the bottom. So we've got this small vehicle bay here, and small one just giving us some glass protection on both sides, kind of like an airlock. And as we move into here, we actually have the complete vehicle bay with these little cool 
jack points where you could attach them while the vehicles are flying around in space or whatnot so you don't get any janky things going on you could also dock a few ships in here so as we come up into this area something i want to talk about as well for alien ships is just look how dark it is if you just listen it feels creepy you'd have to walk around here with a torchlight on i don't know if that's something purposely that is done but it does really give me a much better feeling of an alien ship so let's continue around. We've got the crew quarters. And we've also got the bridge here in the center. So let's go up to the crew quarters if we can. And just use these stairs. Try not to disorientate myself. So I'll put the character in for you. So let's head up and we'll turn our light on. You can hear the engines pumping away. And we're at the crew quarters. So the crew quarters themselves are kind of, kind of over the bridge as an observation area that I quite like. Continue working our way up through this really long stairwell. So we've got the cockpit vehicle hangar that way. We also have the observation area that I've just shown you before briefly. Very nice indeed. And we've got the incubators for our various aliens who would be traveling aboard this ship. I'm getting a little bit of lag as well while I'm inside here. And we've got the central ball or I don't know, it could be some brain maybe of the actual ship itself if it's an organic type of ship. So as we come into this area, we've got a second sort of hangar area. Now I believe this is for the fighters that we should be aboard. They can either launch out the back, so you can just see how dark it is in here once again, giving us that feel. And as I move around, you've got these cool window-based designs that you can see a lot from, and you've got some lower areas where you could repair, and it's actually got a sensor detected, so they'll go on and off, I believe, so you don't actually injure yourself on them. You could probably even print ships for him in here as well, so more hangar space. Now, there's just so much hangar space that this ship could equip a small army for a really big and drawn-out fight on a planet. So, of course, we probably have access to the doors. Let me see which one of these does that. And there we go. Very nice indeed. Anyway, I'm going to return to the cockpit. I'm going to try and take this thing for a little bit of a spin. Now, in planets, I believe it actually functions quite well, but I've not tested it outside. So, let's actually have a go from the cockpit. So, now that we're in the cockpit, let's basically accelerate. So, you can see the problem with the cockpit being right at the front of the ship is you can't see it all move. So I'm just going to use a bit of acceleration to get us up. So you can see all them thrusters flashing with beautiful sort of ambience as we just cruise. You can just imagine being underneath that as it comes over your small village or area that you're working on mining. And you just be going, oh my god, it's all over. All my resources are going to be taken by these guys. They've also got a few turrets on the bottom, but it's just not really enough defense on this ship. I feel, I feel it could be taken out very easily if it didn't have that horde of ships inside protecting it. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and definitely check this one out on the Steam Workshop in the description below.